chain and then walked through like Bath and Bristol mm -hmm. and wrote about things I saw, people I saw and then I went into a shopping centre with this um, canvas who got kicked out because it's like not what happens, like you can't really take canvases around I found. So then this kind of like excited me, so I was like what else could I do with a canvas? Mm -hmm. So I decided to take one on a canal, mm -hmm. on a kayak, to document what happens there, mm -hmm. to see the difference of like the landscape and the situation of the people and what's happening. And so I decided to come up with a hundred ideas mm -hmm. of what I could do with a canvas and how these situations affect my like outcomes of documentation. So I thought I could take one up a tree, which is this one. So I walked up to the tree and threw the canvas up and climbed up the tree mm -hmm. and sat in the tree and then wrote about things I saw and I always start from the left and I write in lines until I get to the bottom and when I get to the bottom I stop writing so it becomes a timepiece to work mm -hmm. but when I was up the tree not much really happened there like I saw some people walking past and I wrote about that and I wrote about how like, it was unstable and how it was hard to write but then I noticed all the shadows of the leaves coming through so I started following these lines to create different marks. So then that created a whole different idea from the tree. Another one I've done is a raft, where I developed the canvas into a raft. Because the canvas represents art to like the untrained, like someone who's not into art, they see a canvas and they immediately think art has to do with art, that's painting works. So I used that to... I normally have TVs set up, so I have like three minutes with three videos on each, about five minutes long. And then the work is sat behind the print, and then the book is on the wall. So the audience come in, pick up the book, read through, and then they can touch the chances because they're propped on the wall, and each one has the title at the top, so up a tree. So they, so it's both in like the boundary between the work, because you know you're not allowed to touch art. This is like, you can touch it and move it, and so you can come in and see it, and then like walk around with the book and see the video, and like this is when you come in the water. Yeah, because you can just show a canvas, it has to be shown with the video and the book, that's the idea. So what's the message there, or what would you like the audience to take away from your... I want, well it's a documentation of like everyday life, like everyday moments, so they can relate to it and just make them think, and like, you know when you... Um, like, you can be in a day and something little can happen. Like you could be walk past and like smile at a girl and a guy and they'll smile back and you'll remember it and it'll like be in your mind for the rest of the day where you'll see something happen. And it'll just like a bird could do something or something. And you'll just remember your day and see all these little things which just generally pass up and by. So if you wait and stop and actually look, you can see there's no really cool thing. I don't necessarily get these impressions. So you, you maybe still have it in your head and you mm -hmm. wrote it down. But I mean, I couldn't tell that you know, the tree or the or something else. But let's say, just hypothetically, you would maybe paint the little bird on the mm -hmm. car. Then I might, I mean, it's just playing scenarios. Mm -hmm. I might also maybe have a feel of that situation. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, for me, this is basically only a bigger note, isn't it? In my eyes, it represents art. So I'm saying, because you could say it is an art, and I say, well, it is, because I'm using canvas. So I call my art process performance art, because it's about, the because it's with the video and with the book. So it's me actually, the act of me going and doing this is all the art form. Three, one's in the tree, one's walking, one's on the zip wire, one's on the raft, so the raft would be there, but without the barrels on. One's um, on a canoe. Mm -hmm. One I did out at sea where I kayaked with the canvas out to some rocks mm -hmm. and I drew from the rocks like the landscape and wrote about what was happening and how the situation I was in made me feel. So like this one was quite scary to me because it was up a tree mm -hmm. and it was windy but then one which I did in the shop window wasn't that scary because so I was just documented. And each one looks different because this one's really untidy because it's up in a tree but the one in the shop window is all like perfect writing neat. Mm -hmm. with more drawings in. I mean, I'm just struggling to see any depth 
to what we see here other than a playfulness and, and sort of an experiment on your part. I'm just trying to sort of think from the point of view of the audience that needs to be inspired, challenged, provoked, um, as well as somebody who's perhaps serious and looking to support the talent and wants to kind of thank you and just struggle. Can I show you a picture of my expression? Correct me if you think otherwise, but you seem like someone who got very frustrated with painting and being in the studio. And decided, oh look, I have this kind of epiphany, and it's fun if I will take my hand and I'll do it with my hundred ways of painting. But with a canvas, and it's fun, mm. but I mean, it's also a bit of a gimmick. And I mean, where, how, how far can you take this? For some of these are impossible, some of them are possible. But the next one I want to do is the one I said I'd canoe around the whole of the UK with a canvas, which is really hard. And Maybe impossible. What do you mean, canoe around with the canvas? And then Actually, I, using the canvas yes, as you No, do. have the canoe and have it all on my legs and take the whole thing around. But then isn't the difficulty in the canoe rather than actually having the canvas? No, but the canvas makes it hard because the canvas is big, it's going to be yeah. huge. So then I write down like, the documentation of my journey. When you're not canoeing, you're not, when you're not canoeing, you're painting, when you're painting or, or writing, mm. when you're writing, uh, you're, when you're actually not writing, then you're canoeing, so... I'm not sure, but I mean, the guy who spins the mind is the one who pushes fake beans around on all four tins of fake beans on marathons. Mm, so if you can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I were to climb a tree with a canvas, for example, I would say that it's on the whatever I hit the tree, and then suddenly, you know, I don't know, something sort of, at least there's a Physical. Well, I don't try to push it. I don't try to. No, no, not push it. Down. No, no, no. Of course, if you deliberately pierce a hole, then yeah. it's uh, again not um, like a proper trace. But yeah. so it, it does naturally happen that if you can do that, yeah. then it's, it's all natural. Like the image of what I take with the canvas and what I do with it affects what I write. So it's just documenting all different situations and all these moments which go on. But I went around so. the UK on after that. Where is this going? I'm going to travel to South America and I'm going to make an everyday vlog of my everyday on my website. And then I'm going to travel for, say, six months and then I'll write this blog every day and make throwaway art as I go. Yeah. And then when I come back, I have an exhibition of all the blogs yeah. printed out around the room. Why is your trip to America your blog? Why is that art as opposed to someone else who goes to America? Or because it's the blogs? fact of actually doing it and documenting like, all the little moments which happen and things. It's like kind of influenced by like, Richard Long, his sort of pieces of work. Are you having fun? Because I'm not getting the, the fun from yeah. you. <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah, of course it's fun. It's just a bit daunting being <laughs> yeah. in here. It was just basically about pushing the boundaries of painting, like taking it actually out there. People can see me creating this work. I'm just not sold that you're doing it for the right reasons. I just think this is fun for you, and in five years' time, you won't be practicing, or you might turn this into another fun activity. But I just do not see yeah. you turning into a great artist. I, just, I can even see uh, an exhibition happening through that, as well, some sort of publicity, but not in the long term. So. It's something if you have a hundred canvases, a hundred movies, and, and the book, and of course it's a nice body of work, but I'm not sure whether you have to be an artist for it or not. That's sort of the question I have. Like, um, where I originate from, like my art, is where I originate from, is painting, like Basque is the big influence of my Yeah, you probably weren't good enough to decide to give up on your painting and no, something that you have feel you know, just, very just before we make that something, can we see any of your actual painting? Well, we can't see it in person. I don't think. Stephen, yeah. thanks. Thanks. Sorry about being a bit harsh, but no, uh, cool. we, we just want to express our opinion and yeah. maybe to get some passion out of it. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's for the right reason. No, thank you. Okay. Good luck. We'll be in touch tomorrow. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.